and welcome back YouTube and welcome back to another build video yes this time we were building even bigger because well why not something like a cruiser size and um, well it turns out somewhat of okay -ish. takes me way way longer than what I anticipated it's like building for like four days straight it's well four days straight it's not exactly straight it was you know with with lapses because I got constantly distracted um and yeah and the first thing of course like on any sh of my ships I placed in the guns which I actually placed in the wrong way around <laughs> it it takes me a while before I realize that I'm building my ship backwards but uh, I do realize it sooner or later um <laughs> oh yeah but uh, yeah, this is gonna be slightly bigger ship than the previous one, and I actually made it slightly too big um, for the armament it's having. Um, I mean, if you uh, if you look at this, this thing gonna have three turrets, two hundred and one millimeter guns, which are twin guns and can fire once every second. So it's kind of okay. -ish. It sounds kind of okay. -ish. But when you compare that to the ship from the season 1, which is the vehicle 12, and it's actually very similar in size, I mean, vehicle 21, I'm sorry, not the vehicle 12. Um, it's actually not that far off size, it's only about 3000 in volume bigger, but it carries 400 millimeter guns and has six, 4 to 6 depending on which variant you're looking at, of secondary guns, 71 millimeter. So this is um, kind of underwhelming. I mean, I was thinking, oh, I'm, I'm building some fairly decent ship, but uh, at the end, I was like, eh, maybe not that much. Um, of course, this is kind of a bigger vessel, so I do want to protect it a bit better, so yeah. Outer layer is actually having some heavy metal uh, armor around it, and uh, the inner layer there is some gapping in between, just so it provides extra buoyancy and stuff. In the end, it it is it is slow. It's not the best in the armament, but it's workable. It does have missiles? Does have torpedoes? Um, oh wait, did I already place the torpedoes? I don't think I did. Gonna have to fix that. Um, well, I'm gonna do. It. I mean, this is the first episode. Is actually gonna be two episodes of this, um, I suppose. And there are gonna be some that not gonna be in the episodes because, well, hop it up, it up. That's why. Yeah, I'm seriously incompetent when it comes down to doing this. Um, but yeah, these building episodes actually take much, much longer period of time to to make. It just you, you, I mean, I'm thinking way too much when I'm building stuff, so just building for two hours straight and, and having like a general idea and then I figure out, oh, maybe this way it would be better or something. And then I figure out that I'm a moron. And I'm just delaying the whole thing around, so... Yeah... I'm so awesome. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty much, yeah, standard building, uh, I build my uh, guns forward place the ammunition behind it and then place the engines behind the ammunition box. Now, I actually, my season 1 ships had just the adverse order. They had um, guns at the front, engines in the middle and the magazines at the back. But uh, that was for two reasons. One, the guns on that ships were mostly forward facing, so the rear was practically the most logical place to position the ammunition, you know, not being anywhere close by. These ships have some amount of firepower at the back, so would that still work? Would, would that still provide some amount of protection to the ship? And I'm not completely sure. Most likely it would, because, um, you know, the front guns are still the most important ones and they're most likely gonna get shot and... Yeah... Uh, I don't know. I, I would recommend placing the ammunition at the back end rather than at the center of the ship like that. Um, it's just uh, further away from the guns, it's usually slightly bit better. 
um, if nothing else, so they don't blow everything up. But uh, yeah. Oh yeah, this ship. I initially wanted to build it like this, but you're gonna see. I changed my mind a bit, and uh, because I completely forgotten that. Well, this is a bigger ship. We want some extra protection around it, and uh, of course, we want laser munition defense. Um, and I figured out. Well, I could place it at the front, completely at the front, or completely at the back. But then I changed my mind and just make the ship slightly bit longer and place the the laser munition defense somewhere in the center between the ammunition racks, the engines and something else and the missiles <laughs> so it's in a perfectly safe position <laughs> uh, yeah. <clears throat> I do cluster my ships a bit too much I suppose <laughs> uh, that that's my, me, my habit uh, and I also have a habit, as you're gonna see, of testing individual components before they're actually built. So there's gonna be a lot of testing in, in this video alone, where I just, you know, put up a marauder and just testing the guns and the missiles and everything else until I'm not happy with it. And I'm not happy with it. So I do some more testing and I'm still not happy with it. And I go, oh, it's gonna pass at some point. So I go, okay, this is gonna work. <laughs> But yeah, I kind of went this time with more of a full pyramid style and I actually made that bulge at the bottom that looks like something of a torpedo bulge or something. Well, it isn't, but <laughs> it could be. <laughs> it's more of an aesthetic choice than anything else. Um, <laughs> but it kind of it, it kind of works just fine. I mean, for 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 the looks sakes. Um, for the style kind of sakes. Um, I don't know how much of actual practical use this would be in the game, but we pretty much gonna have to figure that one out. I mean, I do also add all the active defenses on the ship. You know, it does have flares, it does have radar buoys, which are there to uh, distract radar guided missiles, and also have sonar buoys that uh, are there to distract sonar type missiles. Now sonar boys and radar boys are also part of the detection system so once they're launched uh, you need some general processing units to to actually cover up for their detection <coughs> and you also need pretty much a detection system and stuff like that which consumes a bit too much space in my opinion um, I mean couldn't they just make it into a, like a part of the missile and not really as a part of a detection system as well um, I don't know it's 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 one of those things I kind of don't particularly like at the moment um, but it, it kind of works it I did test it it does work which is nice um, does save you some missile strikes and torpedo strikes especially against the torpedoes because the ship is not particularly fast so even slower type torpedoes will not have much of any problems catching it down and killing it um, but yeah uh, in the end uh, yeah it kinda looks fine-ish I'm constantly checking on how it looks like <laughs> and I'm figuring out that it's uh, kinda off short and then I at some point just decided to, well I, I need to place laser munition defense somewhere and I decided to oh, screw it let's just you know make the ship a bit tiny bit tiny one a bit longer and that should work and in the end it kind of does which but also kind of makes the ship a bit too big uh, as I said before yeah not really much I can do about it well I, there is plenty of stuff I could do about it just uh, <coughs> it would require a bit too much of redesigning the vessel to, to bother with it at the moment. Um, but yeah, I was constantly getting distracted by while building this thing, so that's what took me that long. Just It was somewhat of a busy week, and I also played with the warships a bit too much. Um, there are new ships in the game, so yay. And yeah... <coughs> Here I figure out that I have not sealed my hull yet completely, so what the hell am I testing here is... I have no idea what. 
I'm constantly finding new leaks in the ships that uh, <coughs> I didn't pay the attention to when I was building so now I'm actually trying to figure out where the stuff is leaking um, which doesn't help by the point of fact that uh, the air pumps are kind of behaving randomly at times and they just say that zero volume when in fact they're in completely enclosed space and you're like how can you have zero volume it's just oh it's so annoying and then you go start searching for leaks it says no leaks but well or it says like 27 leaks or something like that and you're like where <laughs> stop looking around the hell and you just can't find it <coughs> oh yeah and then it's just like one block at the front <laughs> You find oh wait I, I forgot to place this one and oh well now I know. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, this style of building a ship like uh, visually it it looks kind of okayish, but it does hinder the ship's speed. I must say that it does hinder it quite a lot, and I'm not particularly keen on actually trying to use it in like a campaign I would not exactly recommend that uh, it's simply it, it, there I mean four slopes four downward slopes those are pretty much useful on a ship they make it faster it which is very useful against cram cannons torpedoes may have problems hitting you if you are a bit ha faster as well um, even advanced cannons we're gonna have some amount of problems hitting you which is nice and if you build really fast ships, you know, then even the uh, detection system on most of the ships gonna have slightly bit of a problem of hitting the. Even though, I mean, for that you pretty much need a flyer of some sort. Usually the ship themselves will not uh, not be achieving that amount of speed that you would want them. Like like hovercrafts, they might, but uh, ships like these, they do not. And I kind of figure out at this point that wait, the ship is built backwards. Yikes! Well, I just continue on building because in the safe files you can just rotate the ship 90 degrees t twice around and it should, it will fix itself. Um, well, fix itself. It, it's, it, it rotates the ship in the safe by 90 degrees, so you t rotate it twice and it's the right way around. Yay! But yeah, building my turrets, a uh, tiny one, a bit big, put the, those, uh, hydraulic absorbers on it uh, in the turret and that kind of works and not completely but it kind of does work I mean it does drop the recoil of the gun by a considerable amount and that's neat to have um, also yeah I have this um, a lot of people I have seen in, in ships like that are in the game they built uh, one gun and then they copied but they copied it another level so the second gun that is on a higher level is often enough having its ammunition straight into the neck of the actual gun turret protection system or you know the outer hull on the top of the deck and that's usually like a big massive weak spot if you hit it the, the entire ship usually blows up which is kind of a bad idea that's why i'm building both of the ships in hull and just extending the neck out which is a smarter way in my opinion um, how smart I have no idea <laughs> I mean the ship will still blow up if it, if it would get too penetrated or something um, trying to make sure that all the guns on the ship are somewhat of equal in what they're doing um, so I'm also like counting gun barrels and stuff like that not absolutely necessary unless the turret is uh, uh, one turret has multiple guns then you have to make absolute sure that the shells on the guns are somewhat equal in speed because otherwise uh, the AI will have problems shooting that gun uh, in, in any direction you know because one barrel is a bit too longer and the other barrel is a bit too short and then one of the shells gonna go either too far and the second shell gonna go too low and 
then are gonna hit anything. So yeah, that's something you have to kind of be careful about. That the shells have um, approximately the same amount of speed if you're mixing shells or if you're mixing barrels and stuff like that. Um, that could quite actually be a problem. Um, but yeah, you can see here is uh, the same engines as I used before. It's very high power engines, but they're not very efficient at all. They will actually consume quite a lot of fuel when they get up to power, but they don't overheat. They're fairly easy to make, very simple engines. Um, and uh, they're pretty decent at all. Uh, at pretty much everything. I mean, not the most efficient one, as I said. It's, however, they're simple to make. So I use them all the time because, well, if it's simple, well, it's my style. <laughs> oh, well. Then, yeah, you can also very easily connect them and then vent them exhaust externally, which does help a lot. Um, I mean, you should always try to vent them externally, at least to an extent, just so the overheat problem doesn't happen. Um, all that much with that. Uh, well, it could happen, but yeah. Now I also place a ton of fuel on the ship. This is not exactly where the fuel ends up being, because, well, it's me and I change my mind. But yeah, I'm kind of aiming for having something like 10 times the amount of fuel considering compared to the engine power. So this ship has about 30,000 engine power or so. Um, and uh, that's the end result, 300,000 fuel on board. That, that's how I do things. I mean, with these inefficient engines, you just need an amount of fuel that gonna last the ship for a while, because uh, uh, they, they're just gonna burn very quickly through it, even with, with 10 times the amount. I mean, if you watch the season one, you could see that I was running out of fuel like every single battle. Well, not exactly every single battle, but every second battle or so, I was like, ah, fuel, 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 waiting for the refueling. Yeah, yeah that was, that was kind of a bother there. Um, trying to make it, you know, with the fuel shortage problem. So all of these ships kind of have somewhat of a fuel shortage problems, I suppose. <laughs> And I'm gonna have to build something like a refinery vessel, um, well, refinery vessel. I'm gonna most likely take one of these ships and replace their missile base with the re refinery instead. And uh, hopefully that's gonna be good enough. Um, most likely it will not be good enough. Um, but it will work, it will work. I mean, if we leave it alone as more of a support cruiser than anything else, then it will work just fine. Uh, once in combat, I don't know how that those things would fare very well. I mean, we did have it in season one. We had the refinery ships uh, with us. They kind of worked in a fight, but really not really. I mean, ah, <laughs> oh well. It's a kind of a funky build, though. I mean, building this this style is um, I find it somewhat interesting. Um, Pain in the ass, but interesting. <laughs> it's uh, it's definitely one of the problems uh, that there is. It's pretty much the balance of the vessel because it's the ship is tilted downwards. So as soon as the weight of the vessel changes for some or other reason on one to move to one or to other side, the other side practically gets flooded very quickly. And uh, if you're not careful, well, the ship will overturn fairly quickly as well. Um, now I did use just uh, the ship on itself it's stable but once I start adding more and more stuff on top of it it uh, starts tilting to a degree where I just go oh well let's add the active propulsion system be below it it's kind of the easiest way to solve the problem and doesn't add too much material or requires too much material and here I'm building the balconies onto the side um, of the ship where uh, I initially thought that the AI gun's gonna be, but I actually ended up extending this balcony way, way later um, and placing two anti aircraft guns there. Um, well, anti aircraft guns. Faster firing, smaller guns that kind of act like secondaries for this vessel, but not really. 
Um, they're, they're just like kind of pea shooters of sorts. Interesting pea shooters, but still pea shooters. Um, and the currently, the dismissal bay that I'm building in here, not only I screw up, <laughs> I actually then change, when I change my mind and make the ship longer, I actually go back and uh, place the missile bay at the back end behind the funnel and not in front of it as it is right now um, <laughs> yeah I'm just <laughs> constantly changing my mind <laughs> uh, but it it's uh, one of those things so yeah I think um, the next build gonna be something with bigger guns I suppose um, and here the tilting problem st starts it's just too much weight at the top, um, not enough weight at the bottom, not enough width to the ship. Um, it kind of kind of managed to fix it, but uh, it's only like a temporal fix. Um, and as I add more stuff, yeah, it doesn't work very well for me. So I just go with the rotors. It's it's one of the easiest way. You just place the propellers downward. Uh, those on the right side, pretty much you assign them to be right hand spinning um, side and the ones on the left side go left hand spinning or LHS it says on them um, and then you put in the pit, set them to roll check a bit whether or not how the pit is reacting um, because if you build like too much propulsion then the current setting on the pit might be a bit too strong for it and just you know be flipping ship wildly back and forth which is not a good idea. And on the other hand, you can build it too weak, so when the ship starts leaning or something, the pit is not uh, inputting enough power on, onto the propellers to turn them for an appropriate amount, and uh, as the end result, the ship just keeps on leaning, and it slowly, it's like a swing going back and forth, back and forth, and that's, that's something you need to fix up as well. Um, you pretty much just do it with the duration time thingy. Maybe I should put like an explanation on that one. Eh, maybe in some other video. Um, but yeah, here is it. Me changing my mind about where the fuel tank's gonna be. <laughs> Still leave this. I think some of them up. Yeah, I do leave some of them up. Um. <coughs> <coughs> oh my god, I have like a coughing fit. But yeah, the ship is not not particularly bad. It's not horrible. <laughs> oh yeah, but I changed my mind so so many times over the course of building this vessel that oh well, it is what it is. It just took me way too long of a time, and I know that, and can't help myself. It just needs to be the way I want it to, or not at all. And here I am starting building the missile systems, yay, which are built like right next to the engine, which is not exactly the best idea. Missiles do blow up, um, if you do not know, and they can damage nearby components. And I also built the last of the missile, like the one that's completely dent. I built it in into the uh, ship itself, so it's shooting straight into the ship. Um, those missiles are not actually doing anything, they don't have any warheads or anything like that, so th those three ones, which is kinda lucky. Um, but I don't actually realize that I built them wrong until way, way, way late, and, uh, well, thankfully they're not actually doing any damage, um, well, thankfully. I would kinda wish that they would do some damage, because then would I would at least know, hey, I fuck up, fix it, but no, it doesn't tell me anything, because it just... Uh, it is what it is. And I'm checking here the missiles, of course. Watching their speed. Watching their range. Eh, it's okay. Kind of decide like that. <laughs> They're not the, the biggest, longest range missiles, but uh, these missiles in the end actually do get changed uh, and they do not stay the same. Uh, simply because the length of the new missile bay which was transplanted there is not the same as this one so I kinda keep the flight 
characteristic and just reduce the payload that the missiles are carrying a bit. Um, and here is me, yet again, already, you know, trying to test fire stuff, not realizing I have no ammunition processors and no uh, material storages on ship. Yay, which is awesome. But the missiles are hitting, they are agile enough, they, they do hit stuff, as you can see. Pretty devastating up as well, which are pretty good missiles. Kind of a bit too heavy on their warheads, I suppose. Um, even though the Marauder is like completely wooden ship, so uh, how they would fare against heavier targets. Well, I did kind of try it out, and they work just fine as well with that one. It's do slightly less damage, but they are pretty hefty on, on the warheads still, and uh, they do their part. These ships are, however, a bit, I mean, still, the ship as a whole, I mean, the guns are not actually that great. Um, as I realized. <laughs> Well, I mean, they do work and they do fire in the direction the ship wobbles, however, horrendously, and I here decided that, well, enough is enough, let's just place the, the things in, otherwise the guns will not be able to fire in that direction. And that could be really, really annoying if it happens during the battle that your ship starts to lean to a degree where uh, it can no longer fire upon the enemy. So that's... Normally it's stable enough, but uh, under combat conditions, it gonna have to be slightly bit better than that. And yeah, some gun fire testing as well. Poor marauders. They have to die for science. Well, science. <laughs> as much of a science I can claim to be. And you can see there, it's like when I forgot to section up the rear part of the ship, the entire ship sunk because it was actually connected to the central engines and those actually provide quite a lot of lift. So those things being connected caused me quite a lot of grief. And now I realize, oh, I don't have any ammunition processor on board. Yay! Finally, tiny one, a little bit of a marauder is dead. <coughs> Oh yeah, and to note, yes, you can in 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 creative mode in in the designer, you can turn you can press C, you can turn the enemy AI off, and it will not attack you. So you can just leisurely take your time and shoot at them. But I don't do that <laughs> because, well, there is no particular reason to. It's a marauder; it it dies very easily. I mean, at least it should die with our firepower. Um, and I'm here trying to place the propellers, which I just can't get right. Um, and later on, I kind of chose on an enclosed, like, dove design thingy. I think it's called. Um, which kind of makes slightly bit better, slightly more sense, but eh, not really. It's just something that I don't come around to properly do. Um, and I kind of accept the fate that the ship is, because of its shape, frontally, um, it will not be able to actually get to any decent amount of speed, no matter how many propellers I put onto the ship. Um, I, could I do better? Yes, yes, I could, but it's just... Once you have a ship of the certain shape, or if you want to aiming for the certain shape, then you have to gonna accept with certain limitations that that shape may offer. And in this case, well, the limitation is the speed of the vessel. And not much of actually anything I can do about that. Um, well, there's plenty of things. I could choose a different shape, but I didn't. I chose this one, so... Um, I do change the butt part a bit by the time I'm done with it, but uh, not by much. Well, not by much. It still retains somewhat of of this sort of a design and uh, well it kind of works kind of works better actually I place a couple kind of flatten out the end there uh, the last four blocks downwards I just flatten them out and 
placed a couple of rudders at the top with the rudder at the bottom so it's kind of more stable in when the ship starts to turn um, and it also keeps when it's firing if it starts turning the ship actually retains way more stable than it was at the the point that you're looking at the video at the moment <laughs> and yeah I do some slight bit of testing whether or not the um, AI is functioning to some degree and it is um, it's not exactly perfect I mean the front guns are actually having kind of a habit of shooting each other because they're right at top of one another so I'm gonna have to figure out what distance they do start to shoot at it one another and uh, remove that problem by simply you know set setting the ship to broadside at that range um, that should help with the issue uh, the perfect solution is of course placing one block of distance between one and the other gun <laughs> that's pretty much the solution you should go for but well I didn't do it so oopsie me Meh. It, it still works um, <coughs> well mo major major parts are working so I'm not that concerned about that um, even though I might occasionally lose a gun for absolute no good reason I'm kinda still okay with it and yeah placing up the AIs which I changed its position later on because well yeah it's in the tail it's protected by a block of armor at the back that's just simply not a good idea even though I then went and <laughs> replaced a couple of that back because I didn't had any enough general processing units I had like 73 of them on the ship or something like that which is kind of silly and yeah so slightly bit of the AI testing which doesn't have any detection equipment on board and as the end result can't really see what it's shooting at yay super smart but it's still, you know, it's the missiles that are here killing them more than nothing else. And this is gonna be also pretty much the end of the video and end of this part of the episode, so yeah. See ya!